A Charlottesville-based nonprofit is helping ex-convicts overcome thousands of dollars in debt after doing time. The Fountain Fund is managed by a team that includes former prosecutors who put people behind bars but see a system in need of reform. Matt Tallhelm is here with a story you'll see only on NBC 29. Good evening, Matt. Good evening, Casey. Former U.S. Attorney Tim Hafey started the Fountain Fund in 2016 after learning from a man he prosecuted about the debt that added up while he was behind bars. The fund says it is seeing life-changing returns from these low-interest loan investments. Chevy Silverado. It's all about the hustle. All right. When work is a place with Jiffy in its name. That's your receipt, and I got a sticker for your window, and you are good to go. It wasn't too long ago assistant manager David Payne was living a different hustle. I was out here trying to live a street life and I ended up getting myself in trouble selling drugs. That life landed pain in state and federal prisons. I just said I'm coming home this time and I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. I've been doing time since I was 17 years old. So I've given them 27 years of my life. He quickly discovered getting out from behind bars doesn't bring immediate freedom. He lost his driver's license pending payment of court costs and DMV fees. I rode the bus out here every day for 18 months. Sometimes it takes me two hours to get to work. The debt totaled $5,000. I paid my debt to society. I was wrong. I admit I was wrong for the things that I've done. I paid my debt, but you know, every time I turn around, it's like I'm being scrutinized for my past. What do you want to uh, tie set at, sir? Payne found a confidant in another assistant manager at Jiffy Lube. I came out and hit the ground running. Timothy Brown faced thousands of dollars in debt after doing time. It was a little struggle. It was a little bit of struggle. I had to make payment arrangements here, payment arrangements there. I worked two jobs. Both men discovered a way out of their debt through Carl Brown and the Fountain Fund. We're talking about individuals who want to take accountability. They're in a situation where they need a little lift up. The nonprofit provides loans and financial counseling to former inmates. We heard from him the other day, right? right. Nicole Snyder leads the Fountain Fund's team after a career as a federal prosecutor. This, I'd say, is very much an effort to say some of us with the experience in the criminal justice world want to make the system better. He's been paying on it, so it's going to be lower. The fund has given out nearly $60,000 in loans to 25 people since last May. They can use the money to pay off debt that piled up during incarceration or start up a business. We become their partner in the journey, so we help them get their driver's license back, we help them with job placement, we help them with pep talks every once in a while. Sometimes people just need someone to know that they have someone in their corner. Snyder says so far, everyone who's received a loan is paying the money back in full and on time. We want to be a step towards self-sufficiency. We don't want to be just another stop that they have to make along the way. We would like for this to be um, kind of a game changer. If we want to really see change, we need to look at individuals and be willing to give second chances. The Fountain Fund cleared the Jiffy Lube guys of their court debt. From there, everything's open. It's like a like a new chapter in your life. And I got my license on Monday and I bought that vehicle right there on Tuesday. Payne credits the fund with giving him the confidence to hustle toward a better life for his family. I know with my mind I can do anything I put my mind to it. That's the way it goes. You know, I don't have limits. The Fountain Fund is expanding its reach already, providing loans to people in Roanoke and Richmond and raising funds statewide. Snyder says they are also getting calls asking about this program coming in from all around the country. Great program. Matt Tallhelm live for us in studio tonight. Thank you, Matt.